Hey, what is going on, good people? I hope that you all are having a phenomenal day. I am really, really looking forward to the next few days going on this vacation. I feel that we somewhat earned, you know, things have been going great, going into another chapter with the whole new year, 2023 coming up. Can't wait to do our net worth update, but that's coming. Hopefully that'll be right before the new year hits. But tonight I want to talk about a Dave Ramsey video that I just watched and the caller asked if they should adjust the $1,000 emergency fund for inflation. And Ken Coleman even said that's a pretty good idea. And he didn't necessarily agree to it, but he did say it's a good question. He says a good question. And then the new personality can't necessarily remember her name, but she basically reiterated how over 50% of people in America don't even have a thousand dollars to their name and 36 percent of americans approximately 36 percent of americans don't have any penny to their name so it kind of makes you think a thousand dollars to a lot of people is a lot of money so if you have a thousand dollars in a bank account that's a lot of money a lot of emergencies can be covered by a thousand dollars pre-pandemic and post-pandemic, pre-super hyperinflation and post-super hyper hyperinflation, $1,000 still can cover quite a bit of unexpected expenses. So personally, I think $1,000 is a decent amount of money to start, decent amount of money to start. At the same time, I have never thought $1,000 would ever be enough money for a long-term emergency fund and dave ramsey never even says that he says a thousand dollars will cover most of the the, the low-hanging fruit and you get that thousand dollars it gives you some momentum and then you do baby step two which is to just knock out as much debt as you possibly can and, and, and get rid of that and hopes that before you have any bigger emergencies that are over a thousand dollars that you get out of debt first and then baby step three would be the three to six month emergency fund so my answer to the caller who asked if the thousand dollar baby emergency starter fund should be adjusted for inflation well my answer is the same answer that I'll, i've always given you know, I, when i went through the program with my wife in 2014 we did everything the way we we're supposed to do it. We did a thousand, then we did baby step, step two, then three. Through the years, I have kind of wavered on that. I've said, you really have to put in that account what makes you feel comfortable. So if you want to do your thousand dollars, but then you say, a thousand dollars isn't enough for me. I want to do 2000 or 1500. I think that's what you should do. You know, I love the concept of having that thousand dollars. It's easy to get a thousand dollars real quick. If you're intentional, you could probably even have a garage sale and get a thousand dollars. And I think that's the reason why Dave Ramsey does a thousand dollars, because it's somewhat easy to get if you're very intentional with what you're trying to do. But if you're somebody that just doesn't feel like a thousand dollars is enough, by all means, get two thousand or fifteen hundred or even three thousand dollars. I think personally, that's not asking too much. You know, to me, there's never a situation where you can have too much in that baby emergency fund because really it's about what makes you feel comfortable and what's going to make you continue to do the plan. See, imagine you have $1,000 in your baby emergency starter fund and you have a $1,500 expense that comes up. What's going to happen? You're going to drain your account of $1,000. Then you're going to go borrow $500. And you get discouraged. On the other hand, if you have that $1,500 or if you have $2,000 that can cover that $1,500 emergency, then it's a little better, right? So whatever you need to have in that start an emergency fund i say go for it you, you know i don't think it's asking too much whether it is to adjust for inflation or if it's just your own adjustment 
for your well-being or, or your mental health or whatever it may be for your comfort level i think you need to do what what you feel is right for you and i always say that's why personal finance is personal personal finance is personal so do what you got to do a thousand fifteen hundred eleven hundred twenty five hundred whatever you need to do get it done all right but appreciate the question that the guy asked and i think that he's going to be okay i think he's going to definitely be okay moving forward all right hey well what do you think do you think that you should have more than a thousand dollars you think you should do all of the baby steps exactly as dave ramsey has prescribed or do you think you should kind of be ramsey ish tell me what you think in the comments below and if you have not already subscribed to the channel or you know liked all the com content shared it i would really appreciate it all right appreciate you guys have a phenomenal one